The US wants to treble the amount of oil it imports from West Africa over the next 10 years or so. And a lot of this will come from Angola. Its oil fields lie mostly off the coast of an enclave called Cabinda. The discontent brewing in the rest of the country has fueled a separatist movement which has been fighting in Cabinda for years. They can see the oil platforms. Their beaches are black with pollution. They say they're seeing none of the profits. This is the fence that surrounds Malonga, which is the heart of Angola's oil industry. It's a huge area that is completely off limits to anybody who isn't in the oil industry. And although Angola is a, one of the first signatories to the international ban on mines, the oil industry is an exception to that rule. The whole of the Malongo complex is surrounded with a minefield. The Angolan government recently stepped up attacks against the separatists. And the consequences of this increased military activity have been disastrous for the civilians who've borne the brunt of the Angolan government's attempts to defend its oil interests. Refugees have filled the villages close to Chevron's oil complex. Moises once farmed an area 50 miles east. He told me what happened when rebels killed some soldiers near his village. The army came back to his village and lined up all the civilians and then got in touch with their headquarters. And he says the officer in charge was told to kill uh, one person for every dead Angolan soldier, plus two. So they selected five people. Moises was one of them. So you were forced to sit down and then... The single gunman worked his way along the line. The first three were killed instantly and the last two got up to run as they were being shot. Moises was hit first in the shoulder, then in the hand, and then his side uh, was grazed. He managed to keep running away into the forest. This wasn't an isolated incident in the battle for control of Cabinda. We came across many terrifying stories in these villages. They told everybody to get into their houses and stay quiet if they heard shooting outside. Andre heard shooting outside and put his head outside the door and remonstrated with the troops and asked them what on earth they thought they were doing. And at that point, from the other side of the house, he heard his son screaming that his mother was dead. American willingness to make bedfellows of autocratic Arab regimes threatens its oil supply from the Middle East. In Cabinda, it's in danger of making the same mistake.